It is the time of the new kingdom of Egypt and one name stands out, Queen Nefertiti, a name that echoes through the sands of time, leaving us with questions that have lingered for centuries. Who was Nefertiti, the woman behind the title? How did she rise to power in a society steeped in tradition and grandeur? What was the secret behind the allure of Nefertiti? How did she wield her influence over a kingdom that stood at the pinnacle of its glory? As we delve into the world of ancient Egypt, we're compelled to ask, how did Nefertiti, a queen of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt, shape the landscape? The mystery of Nefertiti deepens. Why, after a certain point in history, does Nefertiti vanish from the records? What led to her disappearance? And what secrets lie hidden in the sands of time? Join me on a journey through the corridors of history as we uncover the life and legacy of Queen Nefertiti. A woman who defied conventions, shaped a kingdom, and left behind a legacy that continues to captivate the world. The answers to these questions await as we embark on a quest to unravel the enigma of Nefertiti, the queen who shaped Egypt. As the golden age of the New Kingdom dawned, one woman rose to prominence, capturing the imagination of a nation and the world beyond. Nefertiti, whose name means the beautiful one has come, was born during the 14th century BCE. Little is known about Nefertiti's life before her marriage. In Amarna, an archaeological site in the Egyptian province of Minya, references have been found in the tombs of the nobles. These reveal that Nefertiti had a sister named Mutbenret, Born in a time of political upheaval, she would go on to marry Pharaoh Akhenaten, better known as Amenhotep IV, marking the beginning of her extraordinary journey. Nefertiti first appears in Thebes, within the scenes of the damaged tomb belonging to the royal butler Perenifer. In this depiction, the newly crowned king Amenhotep is accompanied by a regal woman, believed to be an early representation of Nefertiti. Nefertiti played a pivotal role in the Amarna period, alongside Akhenaten. They initiated radical changes in Egyptian society, introducing the worship of the sun, god Aten, and moving the capital to Amarna. The worship of the sun god brought about transformation in the practice of religion during this era. Society transitioned from a polytheistic belief system, where multiple deities were revered, to the exclusive worship of Aten. However, concurrently, there was an acknowledgement that Aten was not the solitary god. During Akhenaten's reign, Nefertiti maintained a significant religious position, actively participating in worship alongside her husband and assuming the role of the feminine counterpart in the divine triad comprised of the god Aton, King Akhenaten, and herself. Her sexuality, accentuated by her distinctly feminine physique and adorned in fine linen garments, as well as her fertility, symbolized by her six daughters, suggests that she held a revered status as a living fertility goddess. Nefertiti's image is not only a representation of her physical beauty, but also a statement of her authority and charisma. The art of the time reflects a departure from traditional conventions, capturing a new era in Egyptian culture. Yet amid the splendor, questions linger about the fate of Nefertiti. Numerous scholars propose that Nefertiti's role transcended the conventional status of a great royal wife, and she ascended to co-regent alongside her husband before his death. Archaeological findings depict her as an equal in stature to a king, engaged in activities such as striking Egypt's enemies, riding a chariot, and worshipping Aten in a manner befitting a pharaoh. At the same time as Nefertiti's name fades from historical records, a co-regent named Nefeneferuaten emerges, ultimately ascending to the status of a female pharaoh. The transition suggests the likelihood that, similar to the precedent set by the previous female pharaoh Hatshepsut, Nefertiti assumed the mantle of kingship under the name Pharaoh Nefer Neferwaten, following Akhenaten's death. 
Amarna fell into abandonment shortly after the passing of Akhenaton. It wasn't until 1912 when a German archaeological expedition, led by Ludwig Borchardt, unearthed a remarkable portrait bust of Nefertiti amid the remnants of the Amarna workshop belonging to the sculptor Thutmose. The unveiling of this bust in a Berlin museum during the 1920s catapulted Nefertiti back into the limelight, instantly capturing global attention. The exquisite bust transformed Nefertiti into one of the most iconic and stunning female figures from the ancient world. After a certain point, Nefertiti disappears from historical records. The sudden absence of Nefertiti from the historical narrative has sparked numerous theories. Some suggest she fell out of favor, while others believe she took on a different role or even adopted a new identity. Until 2012, other speculated theories ranged from injury, a citywide plague, to natural causes. These theories were supported by the unearthing of numerous funeral figurine fragments bearing inscriptions for Nefertiti, currently housed in the National Museums in Liverpool and the Brooklyn Museum. However, in 2012, a description from the 16th year of Akhenaten's reign was discovered in a limestone quarry in Deir el Bersha, just north of Akhenaten. The description discusses a construction project in Amarna and confirms that Akhenaten and Nefertiti were still ruling together merely a year before Akhenaten's death. This shows that Akhenaten continued to rule alone, with his wife at his side. As a result, the reign of the female Amarna pharaoh, Nefer-Neferwaten, is believed to have occurred between the death of Akhenaten and the ascension of Tutankhamun, putting Nefertiti's death later than first thought. Nefertiti's body has never been found. If she had met her end at Amarna, it makes sense that she would have been interred in the designated royal tomb at Amarna. However, the discovery of a burial in the Valley of the Kings shows that during Tutankhamun's reign, one of the Amarna burials underwent reinterment at Thebes. Consequently, Egyptologists have pondered the possibility that Nefertiti could be among the unidentified bodies retrieved from the concealed caches of royal mummies in the Valley of the Kings. If you found this journey into the life and death of Nefertiti intriguing, comment below what your theory is about her sudden disappearance from history and don't forget to show your appreciation by giving the video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for more fascinating historical stories and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Stay tuned for our next adventure into the pages of history. Until then, keep exploring.